All right, what's going on? It's Coach Luca with Coach's Corner. What I'm going to start doing a little bit more of again is breaking down exercises, right? If, when, when we talk about sets, reps, all these different things, the main thing is we have to foundationally have uh, excellent form, right? That's what we're always kind of teaching here at Vigor Ground for standards. So what I'm going to cover today is one of the exercises that we love is the main kind of hinge, right? Hinge deadlift slash teaching exercise is the RDL, Romanian deadlift. Not sure why they call that. And we're going to go over the dumbbell one, but we, you know, obviously you can go between dumbbells and barbell, and I'll give you guys the little tweaks that you can do with this. One quick thing, right off the bat, notice, I have a box that I'm going to take these off of. So if you're at the gym, one of the big mistakes you see is like people picking up RDLs off the ground and then rounding, picking them up, which is just an opportunity for you to kind of tweak something, right? Right off the bat. So off the box, if you're at the gym, off the bench, you bring them to the bench and you go from here. Okay, so this way, and even like when you're lifting off, I want to make sure that I have good form, right? So butt's going to go back. I'm going to slide him here. I like lift them up, right? So if I look at it from the side, what's, what I love about the dumbbells is that I can have them closer to my center of gravity, right? Barbell would be up out front right here. Dumbbells, I can kind of keep them to the side. So the RDL is where my butt's going to be higher up. It's almost like think stretch of the hamstrings, right? I have minimal knee bend, so soft knees, right? And I'm only going to go as low as I can maintain that neutral back, right? Slash flat back. So we want to look out for either this collapsing of the upper back, which kind of will lead to the low back getting more strain, or even, like I said, rounding of the low back when we're going down, okay? So we want to think toss, like somebody's pulling me by a string on the top of my crown, the crown of my head, nice and tall. I'm crushing the dumbbells, right? And you can kind of see when I crush the dumbbells, so pretend now, if I have like these loose hands, it kind of makes my lats not work as hard, my abs not work as hard. But if I crush the dumbbells, automatically my lats turn on, my abs turn on, right? I think like I'm pulling back. So if I had a barbell, I always, we tell people, try to break the bar across your legs. Here you do the same thing, except you have the dumbbells, you're trying to break them across your body, right? And then I'm gonna keep that, maintain that form, and I love to say like, pull yourself down, right? Because uh, many times if you have, don't have glutes that work as much and, and uh, I would say your low back is tight, you'll just see people dropping down into an RDL. I say stay tight, brace your abs for the punch and then pull yourself down, right? Feel that stretch. For some of you, you may not feel the stretch and that's okay. And then push the ground away, right? Then I'm driving my feet into the ground as I come up. Other thing too, at the top, my eyes are going to be straight. When I go down, they're going to be about three feet in front of me. So that way, my neck goes along for the ride with my spine. Important thing, right? Because a lot of times you'll see this. So now I'm cranking my neck. My back's not going to be in a great position. Or at the top, you'll see this, right? So we just want that nice straight line pulling up and pulling down. A quick thing too, shoes. Okay, I've got them on right now, but trust me. So if I take my shoes off, especially if you have squishy sho shoes and you don't have minimalist shoes and they kind of have, uh, and you can see like even with these, trust me, I love my Nikes, but uh, there's elevation, but they're also soft. So you can't grab the floor with your feet, right? So automatically you can try this, put the shoe on, try to grab the floor with your feet. You'll just be grabbing soft shoe. When I grab the floor with my feet here, I can literally feel my, so my hamstring is turning on like crazy. Right? All I'm doing is grabbing the floor and I get way more tension. And it feels different. You'll, we'll see this a lot of times where, I don't know, my back's a little bit tight. Take the shoes off and all of a sudden I'm like, hey, grab the floor with your feet. <sighs> tight lats, brace for the punch, long spine. Pull yourself down, keep it close and then push away. Right? And they're like, wow, that feels way better and I feel like I'm stronger. Because right? you can engage more muscles. So that's a very, very important po point. And just understand that we're going top down. If you have a very tight hips right now, you might just get to right here. That's okay, before you start maybe losing your, your back, right? So that means that for right now, this is what you're gonna work, and coming back up, okay? Then you'll be able to go lower and lower and lower. But it's for all kind of two leg exercises, squat, deadlift, RDL. I'm a big fan of minimal shoes or not having shoes on because they can start fixing a lot of things and strengthening things up the posterior chain. 
Now, a, a quick thing that you'll, you guys will see that we like to use uh, for correcting things on a bench is this. Because you'll see form, sometimes the dumbbells will fly away from the body. Notice how like my hands are far away from the body. And what this is going to do is create a, more stress on my low back, okay? Because that's further away from the center of gravity and from my hips. So when people come out here, they'll feel their low back. That's why I always say as you go down, your dumb, the dumbbells and or the barbell should be able to continue to touch your legs, right? I'm feeling my legs the whole time as I'm doing this, okay? But the second mistake that happens is that your knees fall back. So watch, I'll be going down and my knees are falling back and now I don't have this straight line. And again, what ends up happening, I'm gonna kinda see the toes coming up, people almost fall back, okay? We wanna feel our whole foot, big toe, I would say, say big toe right here, pinky, heel. So it's almost like a tripod, right? We don't want to get on, the, on, on our heels. And we also don't want to obviously get on our toes. And a great way to correct this is using a bench. So I'm going to put the bench right up against my calves slash the back of my knees. And if I had dumbbells here, I want to keep contact with that. But if I push it far back, I'm going to feel it, right? Especially if it's a heavier bench. Even now, it's giving me feedback, right? So I'm going to push back. So I'm going to be able to stay nice and straight, keep it close. So I'm pushing my butt back to the wall slash. I'm trying to close the, uh, the car door with my butt. That's a great coaching cue. And then come back up. So I constantly keep contact with this. So I'm not getting away from it where my knees are going forward, right? But I'm also not pushing back, right? So it's great to have some type of external cue that helps you teach this. Now, the reason why uh, like little things matter here is because you'll just have better form, more tension, uh, like I said, you know, less chance or risk of injury, and you want to just pattern this in to where it's your standard, okay? Because if you do that every single time where it's a lighter weight, you're doing, uh, I would say, warm-ups for this, like make sure that you're thinking about these coaching cues because a lot of times you'll see like, oh, it's a lighter weight, so I'm just going to kind of warm up real quick and then the form starts getting sloppy where we are always coaching where no matter what type of set it is, right? I'm going to go every rep. Right, so we're going to every single rep, not only, I'll say get a good rep, but we're practicing a standard, okay? So ramp up sets, warm up sets, heavy sets, like I said, make light weight feel uh, heavy and it make, that's going to make heavy weight feel light. So that are some, so those are some coaching cues for your dumbbell RDL that again, you can also transfer to your barbell RDL, except that it's going to be a little bit more in front, you're going to rip it across your body. But implement that into your next training session when you're doing your RDLs and let me know how it feels.